Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem in Lead Code Daily Challenge. Problem name is Height Checker. So I will quickly explain you what the problem is. In the problem, we are given an integer array of heights, okay? And we have to find basically, we have to uh, arrange this heights array in non-decreasing order. Non-decreasing order meaning like the like in ascending order, okay? So we have to arrange this array into ascending order, and then we have to uh, find out how many uh, values are not in the correct order. So, see, this is the array which is given to us. Okay, let me quickly write this array, which is 1, 1, 4, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3. So, this array is given to us. Okay, ideally, if I, if I arrange this array in ascending order, right, what will be the order? So, it will be 1, 1, then this 1 will come then 2 then 3 then 4 this will be the ideal this will be the ideal ascending order right okay so but in the question we are given this so we have to find out how many values are not not at the correct position not at the correct position okay we have to find out so this is in the correct position this is in the correct position now 4 is here but ideally 1 should be here right so this is not in the correct position so 1 is not in, uh, so one count we got then this is in the correct position and this is not in the correct position so now the count becomes two and now this is also not in the correct position so count becomes three so there are three values which are not in the correct position hence the output will be three so i hope you understood what the problem is you can see these two test cases also in order to uh, know uh, more about the problem now let us understand the approach like basically how we can approach this problem okay i would highly recommend just pause the video and think about it like even if the brute force you are able to think that is also very good if you are able to think so and if you are not able to think then also it's fine doesn't it doesn't make a difference if you see this now you will be able to approach in future so let's see okay now we have to match with the correct order right match with the correct order if i know the correct order like let's say if I have I know the ascending order, so one, one, then one, then two, three, four. If I know this order, I can simply match, right? It's very simple. I can just match this is same, then this is same, this is not same. So just increase, let's say we take a variable answer, initialize it to zero. When they are not same, we increment it by one. Then this is same, then these two are not same. So again we increment it by one because it becomes two. Now these are also not same, so uh, these are not also same, so we increment it by 1 and it becomes 3, right? This is one way. Now, ultimately what we need, what we require, just understand what we require. We require this order, right? We require this order. Now, in order to get this order, there are two approaches. One is very simple, which I think you will be able to guess, which is we can... We, so this is the array which is given to us right let me just quickly write the array which is given to us oh god okay so we are given one 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 four two one one four four two one and three so this is given to us right one thing which i can do is i can just make a clone of it i will just make a copy of this array so i will just make a copy of this array and then what I will do, I will just then sort this. So when I sort this, it will become what? Let me just write it with different color. So it will be after sorting, it will become 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right. Now I have these two arrays. This I have this array, which is the original array, which is given to us. Is That is the heights array. And this is the expected, you can say. The expected, which is the ideal order so basically now i have this also i have this also i can just match the value and get the answer which we discussed earlier right if they are not matching like let's say four and one are not matching we increment this answer by one so this is one approach now in this approach we are using sorting so the time complexity will be n log n which this will be the time complexity and space complexity will be what o of n y of n because we are creating this copy and then sorting it right so this is one approach 
now this is brute force approach which i think all everyone will be able to get now let's say the let's see the optimized approach optimized approach is also very easy okay uh, let me just quickly let me just zoom it out a bit oh god okay yeah all right now quickly let me just write the array 1 and 2 down 1 1 4 2 1 3 so approach which i am thinking of is that what i want to what is my final array which which i want i want it to be something like 1 1 1 2 3 4 right this is the final array which is a sorted one so it means that the smallest element is at the first then the next element next element next element so what do you think of like what we can do is right we can if we know something like how many smallest how many each element how many times each element is there like how many times one is there it is three times and one is the smallest so we will keep it at three times in the front then what is the next element two right next element is two so i will keep it then next element is three and it occurs one time so i will just keep it one time and then next element is four i will keep it only one time because it occurs only one time so in that case i am able to make my sorted array so what i am trying to say is that let me raise this what we will be doing first of all we'll be keeping a count we'll be keeping a count of every element so for that you can use a hash map i am using a, a integer array for that in order to show the count of each element so 0 1 2 3 4 5 will be the array so basically array size will be the maximum element of this which is 4 plus 1 that is 5 so 5 will be the size of this array max plus 1 so now i will just keep uh, store the count of each element so one is occurring i will just store the count of one at index one then again one is occurring so count will become two four is occurring count will become one two is occurring count will become one and one is occurring now again it will be count will become three and then three is occurring count will become one and this is zero so my basically count array will become something like this 0 3 1 1 1 okay now what i will do i will make again a clone of this array so it will become something like this is a clone right so 1 1 4 2 1 3 and then what i will do i will calculate the minimum of this array what is the minimum of this array which is 1 and maximum is what 4 so i will start from 1 i will see what is the count of 1 here count of 1 is 3 so in this array in the clone array 3 1 will occur how many times 3 times so 1 1 and here 1 will come so basically what will be my array 1 1 1 okay so now my index is here this is my index okay so 1 is done now we'll increment it to 2 now we will see how many time 2 is occurring 2 is occurring one time so here we will keep 2 although 2 was already there but we will keep it okay now again we will go further value will become 2 plus 1 3 now how many times 3 is occurring one time so we will keep 3 here one time okay again increment 4 we will see how many times 4 is occurring 4 is occurring one time so we will keep 4 here so in this index will further move and 4 will come here so if you see now this is a sorted array right now basically again we will just compare the values this is our expected array we will just compare the array, this array with this array and find out how many values are not at the correct position so i hope you understood this approach the time complex is o of n it's linear because we are just traversing linearly and the space will be o of n because we are creating this counts array to store and this clone array okay let's quickly see the code for this i hope you understood the approach i have coded in java okay so first of all 
I have found out the minimum and the maximum. So this is the optimized approach. Okay, minimum of the array, maximum of the array. Why? Because we wanted minimum and maximum here. And this, and this one, right? This count array size will be maximum element, which is four plus one. Okay, so count array will be maximum plus one. We will store the frequency of each of the element in the count array. Then what we will do? Uh, we will be creating the clone of the height array, which is this one, and then we will make it to this. Now we will go from minimum to maximum plus one, and basically we will be storing how many times the value, uh, how many times the values occurring, right? So if one was occurring, how many times? One was occurring three times. We will keep one. Then we will move to the next index. We'll keep one. Then we'll move to the next index. We'll keep one. Until unless the count becomes zero, and at last we will just simply compare if the what all are the not at the correct position and increment the answer and we will return the answer. We will submit this. It's working. So I hope you understood the problem and the approach. Let me know in the comments if you have any doubt. If you feel the if you feel that the video was helpful, please like it, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and thanks for watching. Bye bye.